right. Here we are, Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies. The gates just opened. What time is it? 5.35 p.m. Game starts at 6.40. Tonight, the Philadelphia Phillies will take on the Cincinnati Reds. Another day, another pair another of overalls. overalls. New for the season, the baby blue powder blue splatter paint. Wow. I know. I guess. It's getting touchy feeling. I would, I, well, I, I Some people it. charge. I charge people for that, but not you. The Schwarberger, it's a special blend patty chopped with American cheese, pepper, bacon, fried onion, crispy onions, $16.99. Oh, that sounds like a bargain. Hello, good Hi, sir. Wait, you look like the guy from the Furco documentary. Jimmy from Furco, how are you? Guys, how are we doing? We're doing good. I would like a Schwarberger, please. Okay. How, how are the Schwarberger's selling? Are they selling, like, you sell out? Yes, I make it up. You make them. And you make them with love? That's the that's the special. Right now. Has Kyle Schwarber eaten the Schwarberger? I don't know, but I wish he wouldn't come down and say something to us about it. Right. You know what? Kyle, if you see this, they want you to try a Schwarberger. You got that fried egg. Bake. Wow, this looks very healthy. Look, he's got egg yolk on his finger. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Uh huh. Yo. This is the best thing in the ballpark. Thank you. This is really good. This is the best stand in the ballpark. Well, uh, get out of here. You got customers. Bye. Enjoy the game. Go Phil. Go Phil's 24 7. See you. It's a really big patty. It's the most expensive burger I've ever had in my life. But it's the best burger, the Schwarberger. I highly recommend. Scale of one to ten? Eight and a half? Eight point seven five? That's really high for stadium. This is the Phillies Wall of Fame. And right over here is Bulls Barbecue. If you're gonna come to the stadium and you wanna try some food, um, I recommend this spot. It's pretty good. The pulled pork sandwich is one of the best sandwiches in the stadium. They also have a burnt end cheese steak that's like $19. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like your typical cheese steak, but it's really good. And they make all the food right here on this big grill. No one vacations in Cincinnati! And before you say anything, millions of people vacation to Philadelphia every year to see the Ben Franklin stuff. You know what they say. It's always fun in 301. Yo, Oscar, what we doing? He's not here yet. All right. Let's go! Brett's ringing that bell. Because Who what? Who not Philly's Alec Bolton? Look at that. Right inside of the How about that? Trey Turner, our good friend. Trey Turner. Steals second base. Next pitch. Comes on in on the double that he might not have scored if he didn't steal. That's why we love Trey Turner. What are you guys doing on this side of the stadium? Iggy, how are you? Calvin, where are you guys going? Uh, I Okay. Where are we going, Mike? We're we'll just doing a little lap. We got rookies there. Oh, oh. Yeah. Respect the mascot. Respect the mascot. You get out of the way. There you go, Iggy. Respect the mascot. Go ahead, Iggy. See ya. Yo, is Barbera the best? Ooh, what I guess? Wow, how did he know that? I know some of you might be asking, hey, Cat, where's the Luke prediction? 
Luke is working for the Flyers today, so he's not at the game. Thank you! Wow, I'm trying out one of these lemonades. Now the shaker is $12.99. You can buy a cup of lemonade for $6.99. You know, if you don't want the shaker, this is really good. Good day, mate! Good day. Look at this, yo, it's UK Phillies. You ever see this guy get an interview? They, they go, hey, UK Phillies, how are you? And then he pulls for 20 minutes. You're the best. You're, how are you? I'm good. I'm tired. Jet lagged. Landed about two hours ago. Came straight here. I'm conscious of talking for 20 minutes now. How? How did the accent go from that? to this, right? Because that, that's the Royal English <laughs> scumbag English. Uh, how long are you in Philly for? Thursday. Thursday. I'm going to DC for the series down there. You're not going to watch WrestleMania. I know. I know. Are you Team Cody or Team Roman Reigns? Cody. I don't, I don't like it. And what, how do you feel about the King? You digging him? You digging the King? He's good, right? He's, he's doing all right, right? He's doing all right. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the Queen. Did you, did you go to Princess Diana's funeral? Uh, I remember. I remember watching it on TV. It, oh, you didn't go down there, and like, you, you weren't one of those wankers down there. You couldn't, you couldn't get near it anyway. Uh, how far do you live from Buckingham Palace? An hour and a half. Walking? Oh, no. You guys, you guys just take the tubes right. everywhere. Tube, the tube, yeah, The yeah. tube and double-decker buses. Yeah, that's right, you got it. Yeah. Are you coming to London? No, no, I'm on the dole. I can't afford it. Ah, huh? look at the dole. You hear that? That means food stamps for British. He knows his slang. That's good. Hey, well, I grew up listening to we punk rock. Right. So I, 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 like, I know the dole, the tube. Like what, what sort of bands? Um... Uh, the uh, uh, Cox Bar, you like Cox Bar? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Because y'all young. Okay. Jump in, Chad. Jump on, uh, you like Cox Bar, yeah, right? I saw them a years the dam. Like, the dam. They're, they're, they're good obscure. I, I saw the Sex Pistols in concert. Oh, uh, bollocks! Oh, yeah, my God. Uh, do you like Benny Hill? Hell yeah. Some, yeah. I heard most British people don't like Benny Hill. What? Benny Hill's amazing. No, he's not. No? John Cleese is amazing. John Cleese, John Cleese is, is a legend. Oh, legend. Oh, What's better, Monty Python or Faulty Towers? Oh. Are you being served? Faulty Towers. Are you being served? That was the show. No. <laughs> Mr. B. Oh, yeah, Mr. Yeah. B. Oh, I love oh, Mr. B. Mr. B. Mr. B. No, Faulty Towers over anything. Faulty Towers was, 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 was funnier. I found it funnier. I, it was more slapstick. That's what I got back. What's your favorite thing about Philadelphia? The people. Nah, really. What's your favorite the thing? Don't you, really, you like the people? The people. The, pas the passion. The passion for the, 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 the Philly sport. The, the how they welcome you. Like every time I come here, like they pick up the accent. Like you're from the UK. Yeah. Oh, you, you, you gotta go here. We're so bright. No, it's funny because of, of you talking that way. You automatically get ten points of IQ from everybody. <laughs> It's true. All right, so are you going to the London series? I am. Yeah. Wow. I cannot wait. It's going to be surreal. You know, it's going to be half Mets fans. Ah, be, they, yeah, there, there, there may be more Mets fans there, but we'll be louder. Easily, we'll be louder. I don't know. They're jerk offs. They're really loud. Yeah. Let's go Mets. I wonder if they're going to have the annoying cowbell guy. Okay, so if people want to find out more information to hang out with you over in London, where do, where do they go? Passionyoncavenue.com. Get your tickets there. Most of them are free. There's going to be events from Thursday till Sunday or even Monday. Cheesesteaks, wings, and the cheesesteak. If you go to London and get a cheesesteak, I'm going to punch you in the face. How good could a London cheesesteak so the, the owner of Passion is, is JP Tetty. He's, a, he's an expat. He's a, everyone who works there, most of them are from Philly. Okay. They're all expats. Okay. Bread's good. X Cheese they call it. X Pax. Oh, what do you guys call my wife calls I call them, I call them traitors. <laughs> Todd! Cincinnati tied it up. What's, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, well, they have a little, they're, they're bullpen short. So Sanchez only went five, kind of ran out of gas, and now they're going to Hoffman again, for the third time in four days. I read an article that said the Phillies had the best bullpen in baseball. Yeah, that was based on like uh, analytics, like advanced analytics. We're at the 
top of the ninth, the game's tied at two. Jose Alvarado. Hey. Uh, walk the guy. That looked like a strike to me, Todd. What? Looked like a strike to me. Yeah, I saw strike two. I don't know what that else is. Would have been strike three. That would have been strike three. We would have been out of it. To the bottom of that to win the game, but... I guess these umpires get paid by the hour. That's exactly their hourly employees. He said, fuck it, I'm going to call with a ball. Make them sit a little longer. Good news. What's that? Free baseball. Extra innings. Bad news. Connor Brogdon's coming in. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Mr. Mike, how are you, bud? Good to see you guys. There's no strikes. It's not going good, Todd. Oh. It's a, it's a crisis of mismanagement for today and for the for, for the for the roster. It's, it's really bad. He just walked the base and slowed it. Look, Connor Brogdon is not going to be on the team in a week, but he's going to cost the team a game today. That is, in a way, yeah. I mean, like he only scored two runs, so like it's a lot of it's on the offense. Bryce Harper hasn't had a hit this year. Yo Rojas getting picked off and all that. Red slam. Wow. Rob Thompson and Dave Dabrowski can. This is their round. They can feel that one. They can, why is he on the roster? Why is he on the roster? There's no explanation for him being on the roster. Connor, Connor Brogdon has a 40 ERA. That's not a joke, that's the real number. 40. Is that a record? That has to be a record. No, no, there's infinite ERAs. There's guys who come in, never reported out, gave up a run, and they infinite ERA. Let's go! It's one! Six to three! Six to three! It's not over yet! It's, uh, Well, that's, they can't win them all, Todd. No, not Bryce Harper going over 11. He'll turn it around. Can't win them all. We can't even win half of them. But that's all right. We're going to keep on hunting for a red October.